today we will be exploring a local market here in Barranco, Lima to try Peru's best food oh, yeah. with Lima Tasty Tours. Peru is arguably the foodie capital of South America and so far we have not been disappointed with a single meal. But we still don't know what the local favorites are, so let's go find out. Good morning, beautiful people. We have just arrived to the neighborhood of Barranco here in Lima, and we are so excited to be going on a food tour today. Apparently here in Barranco, there are two kind of sides of this neighborhood. The very touristy side, which is the west side, which is where most tours operate. And then the east side, which is the local side and where the local markets are. We're doing a food tour, so we're obviously heading straight to the local market to explore and try some different foods of Peru. So, let's go. This is the morning drink. Look at this. Looks it. like a soup. Yeah. Looks like a soup, eh? Yeah. So, this drink is called just like that, quinoa. Quinoa, okay. Uh -huh. And you know, quinoa... I remember this. <laughs> <laughs> and quinoa is like conquering the whole planet. Yeah. Yes. You know, it's so... Cool. And it's native from Peru. All right, you ready? Ready, pretty. <laughs> ready, pretty. <laughs> mm. Oh my gosh, so good. Wow, it's delicious. It is, right? This is amazing. It tastes, I don't like to compare things. I know people hate that. It tastes like <laughs> apple pie as a drink. Really? Never heard that, <laughs> but. That is so good. It is like a roller. Wow. It's amazing. Well, Mac, You're gonna love it. Oh, it smells like apple pie. Yeah. So good. Yeah, that is a good breakfast. Okay, <laughs> one word to learn in Spanish in Peru. Que rico. Que rico. Que rico. Que rico means like very tasty, ah, so delicious. Or also, rico. we say it like buenazo, ah, like yeah. so good. I'm so glad we're doing already. This food tour has paid off because we're gonna have this every day now. This is like a takeaway breakfast. Mm. So this thick like that it's like a smoothie. You would drink it and it would fill you up for sure. We have another one here. Uh, this is called maca. maca. Maca is a root from the Andes. And those three, though we can describe it like the Red Bull of the Andes. Yes, because give you a lot of energy. Okay. But not just that energy for starting the day, also the energy at night. Yes. Okay. Because this one is going to enhance the libido of the person. Oh! Okay. Alright, so you want to make twins? Okay. This is the secret. <laughs> mm. Okay, what do it taste like? Oh, it's so good. Um, kind of like rice, like it has like the, a ricey sort of flavor to it, but also like Almost, yeah, almost like a hot chocolate or something. A mm. ricey flavored, sort of chocolatey flavor. Yeah, wow. it's nice, huh? And that's These also so cool. <laughs> so delicious. Immigrants back in the 1960s, 70s, they start coming to Lima for the Lima drink. All right? So people from all over coming here with their families to have a better job, better education. But uh, they didn't come just with their families. Also, they brought their traditions, their music, their dancing, their food. Okay, so they're different dishes. So that's why here in Lima, we can find everything from all over. Before to know more about this country, the best way is the market. So right now we are going into a local market. Into a tricycle. And these ones are so cool. They have like actual doors on them. Yeah, those ones close. Instead of like the open air ones that you would normally see in Southeast Asia, it's almost like a miniature car, but yeah. the motorbike is the engine. It's so different to ones I've seen before. And we're heading to the market after our delicious drinks. Oh, they were really nice. They were so good. Yeah. You're from Shai. <laughs> She's Shai.
So these black Peruvian olives, they grow from the south coast of Peru. So try it, but watch out with the pit inside, eh? And let me know. Mm. Super soft. But the word, the word in Spanish. Rico? Yeah. <laughs> Muy rico. Muy rico. Yeah. Just peel off. Mm. Oh, I'm not even in the frame. <laughs> you hold it. Oh my god, they're so good. Right? I'll take another one. Yeah. Watch out with the pit. Mm. Oh my god. They're good, huh? They're so flavorful, like strong flavor compared to a lot of other olives that you eat. They're not tough. And they're more purple, like rather than black. Tasty, yeah? Mm. Really so good. That's what I've been telling you. And uh, so much flesh. Yeah, yeah it feels like it's twice the size of a normal olive. Yeah, this is a good chunk of olive in mm. one olive. This one, the green olives, are with Brazilian nuts. Okay. There's no seed on it, so you can eat it all. Oh, yeah, it's stuck with the nuts. Yeah. Mm. One ounce salt. <laughs> really good. Yeah. We should buy some. <laughs> yeah. They're so good. You want to come here and get an amazing deal like these beautiful looking strawberries for two soles, then definitely come to the Jorge Chavez market. Everything we've tried so far has been absolutely delicious. We're never ever going to want to leave Peru because the food has been so good so far. We call it this like uh, the natural gummy bear. Okay. So, ladies first. Okay. Ahí está. A ver, ¿qué tal? Para <laughs> Natural gummy bear, eh? Oh my god. Not at all what I was expecting to come out of there. No, me neither. You like it? Wow. It's really very molasses flavor. Yeah. yeah. Wow. This is tamal, okay? So it's made from dry corn. It has yellow chili pepper, this type. Uh, this one is very common, very popular for Peruvians, especially from the coast, uh, to have it uh, for breakfast. It's warm. It is warm. Just a big piece. Okay. Oh, it's fine, but try it. Mm. Oh, wow. Flavors. Yeah. The flavors of Peru. I don't think you said capsicum, but it tastes like it has like capsicum and bell pepper. Know. Oh, they have bell oh, pepper. No, 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 hot pepper. The yeah, yellow chili pepper. Yeah. The yellow chili pepper. That's the flavor. Uh, it has oh. also olives. ¿Qué más tienes en esto? No, adentro de ingredientes. Really good. The Chilcano, as you notice, it has ceviche, seaweed, toasted corn, the broth. The smell it, just yeah. feel the smell. It smells like fish soup. <laughs> but very tasty fish yeah. soup. Alright, let's find out. That was a full bowl. <laughs> mm. oh, it is actually surprisingly good. Never been a big fan of fish soup before, but this one is... It's super fresh. It doesn't have that fishy taste that you can sometimes get. No, it's actually really good. Seaweed, fish, corn. Has. Anchita. Anchita. Toasted corn. Toasted corn. Oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> 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 That's really good. Yeah? Yeah. Have some. Yeah, I'll try. Oh, now that is flavor. Yeah. That is very flavor. Yeah, wow. the ceviche. This is Peru, my friend. Yeah. Oh, this is delicious. <laughs> this is really good. 
What do you call this dish? Chilcano. Chilcano. I have to admit, Max and I have never been big fans of fish flavored soup, but this is, might be the first one we've had in a year and a half of travel that we've actually really enjoyed. This is a, a beautiful, a smelly plant. Yeah, it smells very strong. <laughs> it's, a, it's called ruda. And ruda is in order to spread the good luck to people. Or also to leave it in your house, you know, and attract the good vibes. Okay. All right. So this is, you know, you're going to continue traveling here in Peru. So we're going to spread the good luck to you. Dun, dun. Back. Turn around. Turn around, everybody <laughs> Pictures. Good pictures. Ah, turn around. Good trip, good trip, man. <laughs> Thank you. For me too. We are called by the rest of Peruvians Limeño Mazamorrero. So it means someone from Lima that loves to eat mazamorra. Because this is a very classical dessert for Limeño for us. It looks so good. Mm. Oh yeah. It's warm. It's like warm. Yeah. It's like a warm pudding with fruit. It's good. <laughs> I like it. Hay gente, pero. Got that cinnamon and that apple taste of it. Mmm. Big though. So, this is a crust of chocolate inside with caramel and also pecans. Wow. They're all local. We produce chocolate. Okay, yeah. we made a caramel. And also in the south part of Lima, we produce lots of uh, pecans. So chocoteja, okay, very traditional. Please try it. Pecanas, almendras, and Oreo. Wow. Ah. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> For the cat. Our friend. <laughs> what are you doing around here? She said. Eating. Enjoy. Trying. Mira, mira, on. Inside, it's like the run of caramel and the nut. You have to get your own, I can't share with you. Wow, that's the best chocolate I've had in a long time. I don't think we ever would have thought that this yarn store would be selling chocolates that were that delicious. And for only two soles each, I'm the huge homemade artisanal chocolates at the yarn store here in the market, so if you come by, definitely stop and get some. So this is a very tasty sandwich. It's called lomo saltado, the stir fry beef, mm -hmm. in a sandwich. In a friend, in a, well, ciabatta, eh? Mm -hmm. Ciabatta sandwich. Believe me, man, good stuff is to kill for. You don't die for. You okay. kill. Okay. <laughs> nice. The bread is really good. I'm bad at this. Just really good. Mm, the bread. <laughs> That's a good friend. He's a French That's a good man. Friend. That's a good friend. <laughs> the bread is so good. Yeah. All right. This looks so good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You can taste the tanning influence in the sandwich. Yeah. It has those Asian flavors. But it's a sandwich and it's got chips in it too, like potatoes. Yum. I'm so happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Talking about chips, these are our favorite chips, mine in the world. These are plantain chips, again, made here. But the best of the best is not just the chips itself. Also, with this hot sauce. Look at this. Uh, can you smell it? <laughs> All right, guys. So this is called ají charapita. 
He has red onions, lime juice, he has wild cilantro from the Amazon, and also those yellow chunks is from a fruit, a fruit from the Amazon called Cocona. Oh. All this hot sauce with this, mm, that sounds oh, <laughs> yes. The only problem with this is uh, it's addictive. <laughs> Wow. Hot, but a tasty, beautiful spice. Mm. Wow. So much spicier than I thought it was going to be. Wow. <laughs> so good. Wow. Yeah. Good good huh? Alright, our food tour is coming to an end, but I'm sure you've been amazing. Leave a tasty to us. We honestly, I could not recommend it enough. Everything we've eaten has been delicious, so thank you so much. I'm glad, I'm glad you enjoy every bite. And I also, I feel very uh, lucky to have you and work as a tour guide here and show the flavors of Peru. There's so much to eat, there's so much to share, not just on flavors, also with the history, with culture, with friends, with the locals. That's what we love, to share like the, like the real Peruvians what we eat. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Delicious. <laughs>